Hey friends, this is going to be a quick one where I just want to just do what I said I've been wanting to do is just talk about some of my most favorite music. Some of it I don't have on on um, on vinyl. Uh, I want to talk about J uh, Steve Jansen, Richard Barbieri, and Mick Karn right quick. I um, have one of their albums on vinyl, but the rest I have on CD, and I don't have all their CDs. But um, Jansen and Barbieri were members of the band Japan. Steve Jansen is uh, David Sullivan's younger brother. And I just think their music is sublime. It's just some of the finest music that is somewhere kind of in a nebulous place. It's There's ambience, um, there's sophistication, uh, there's just there's just something very deep about their music. I find it very um, compelling, um, soothing at times, um, and very challenging. I just love their music and I just, this just can be sh quick. I only have one album on, on vinyl. I have two versions of it. Worlds in a Small Room. I've shown this before. I just recently um, found another copy of it. I had it and sold it like an ass. And then I have the same album but the Japanese version, which has an extra track, and uh, it's well worth the extra track. Uh, this is just some of the finest music in my collection, again, and I do mean that very seriously. I can come back to this music time and time again, and it satisfies. World's in a Small Room on CD. There's a second version of this, which I don't have. And I need to seek that out. Just fantastic music. Um, they had their own record label for a while called Medium Music, and I don't know if any of these came out on vinyl. I kind of doubt they did. And um, here we have Beginning to Melt, I think is the name of this one. Yeah, Medium Series of Volume 1, Beginning to Melt. Um, all instrumental. Just wonderful, wonderful music. And I ordered this directly from them when it first came out, and so I got an autographed copy. You can barely see it there. This is just wonderful, wonderful music, and Stephen Wilson of Porcupine Tree plays on on this one as well. It was part partly why I got involved, got into Porcupine Tree, was the connection to Steve Jansen and Richard Barbieri them being guests on his No Man record. That's how I first found out about Stephen Wilson. Another one of theirs that I just love this one. This one is called Seed. Man, I wish this was on vinyl. This is awesome. I can just play this over and over and over again. Seed. This is on their label, Medium Productions. This is just awesome. And the graphics, that's one of the things I will say about showing records. Showing records is more fun. The big the big graphics, the big cover, that's the one thing that I don't like about CDs. Okay, two more. This one, man, I wish this was on, on vinyl so bad. Stone to Flesh. This, in my opinion, there are some masterpiece pieces on here. The entire album is not seamless. There's a three tracks on here that alone, if you took all everything else away and just put those three on one, one disc, masterpiece of ambience, subtle brilliance, subtle brilliance. I highly recommend this music to anyone that thinks they like music of depth. The last thing I have is they, um, for a minute we're on uh, Virgin Venture like maybe for a minute they were going to make some money and maybe cross over and get an a larger audience and so they put this one out called um stories across borders apparently it didn't happen they just did this one where they had the major label backing i'm thinking if i will try hard enough i might be able to find a promo of this on vinyl i haven't looked lately i'm thinking there's a possibility that maybe this was was uh manufactured on vinyl but i would keep it really short under five minutes Steve Jansen, Richard Barbieri. I barely talked about Mick Karn. He was the bass player from Japan who passed away recently of cancer. He plays on most of these. 
I just love their music and I wanted to share that with you. Have a great day, evening, life.